Good afternoon, gardening friends. It's just a little past noon on Thursday, and uh, <clears throat> it's been a busy week since I recorded my last update, but there's a few little developments I wanted to show you, one of which you might actually be able to see, but let's go closer. The beans have popped, uh, at least in one of the planters. I got all five that I planted have popped. There might just one, maybe just slightly out of frame over here. It's the tallest. I noticed these literally the next day after the last update I recorded. So I'm happy to see that happening. We've got some progress here. There's some other things to show you. There is the other planter where I planted the same thing on the same day in the same amount at pretty much the same depth and nothing. So it's kind of interesting that I get it on one side of the uh, patio but not on the other. Not sure why. Maybe I'm going to have to watch the sun and see if it's getting more sun over there. In which case, maybe these will pop in a little bit. But the others have actually been growing pretty much since last Sunday or so. Meanwhile, if you can see it, this is what the brandywine's been reduced to right over here. It's all dead. So it's time to redo this planter, put the fava beans in. I've got to mix it up with some more vermiculite, which I picked up. Uh, so I've got a little bit of a project in the next couple of days. Uh, the brandy wine actually never really took off, so I'm not sure what happened with that. But it's too late to try and plant another tomato at this point, because it's probably, even though it's been quite warm lately, even in October, uh, it's probably going to start getting cold at some point. So by the time I get something started, it'll be too cold for it to grow. Also, even though you probably can't see it all too well, and now the air conditioning just turned on, the uh, pepper plant, I think I finally figured out what was going on. Uh, I've got a little critter climbing around, and I'll show you that. Well now, I've been having a little bit of a problem here in the garden. I was kind of wondering what it might be. You know, I thought it might be aphids or white fly, or those ugly ground, uh, brown grasshoppers. This is what I found. Now we can see if we can take care of it. We'll start with the insecticidal soap and see what we can do with that. See how he reacts. That knocked him off. But now he's down on in the bottom of the planter. And since I know that that will probably have hurt him, now I'm going to hit him with something a little bit stronger. over here. So, hit him again. I love my new sprayer. Now, I'm going to keep going after him until he can't move anymore. Okay, I'll give him a fighting chance. Now he's stuck in a spider web. <clears throat> I've been watching for the last few days since I spotted him and since I recorded that little bit. Uh, and I haven't seen him on this plant or on the coleus where I actually recorded him. So here's the coleus on which I found him and there's no sign of him here either. I'm happy to see that and that might be what's been happening to some of these plants, especially when they get chewed up. I really should be thinking more along the lines of larger chopping insects like the grasshoppers or that leaf hopper. Uh, but it's looking good. And we also have these coleus plants which are getting nice and big and colorful. So it seems like this area is the perfect place to actually grow these coleus plants. But let's take it one take a look at one more place. Which is a different angle on the 20 gallon that has all these beautiful plants in it. Uh, actually, the coleus is looking a little sickly, kind of a gray color coming on, and that may be because it's now getting more sun than it used to, or maybe not. I'm not sure exactly, uh, but it doesn't wilt nearly as bad as the other one. Um, either way, I'm happy to see plants growing. 
Uh, I'm happy that I found that little bugger so I could try and look for him more often and get rid of him. Unfortunately, he's a shade of green that's just so close to the plants that he's hard to spot. But that's the animal world for you. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this update for today. We'll see how much more we can get uh, before we wrap up for the week. Good evening, gardening friends. It's now just past six on a Friday evening. And I've finally gotten around to uh, pulling the uh, Brandywine tomato and starting to refill that box. And I found it actually had the same problem. That's the box on the right. It had the same problem as the box on the left, where the soil was very moist and muddy, almost clay-like. Um, so I'm putting more vermiculite in there and hoping that will help. Um, I've ended up deciding that uh, with the vermiculite I'm putting in there now, uh, I'm going to let it just rest until probably Sunday before I try and plant. But on the left, I've also noticed that the seeds have somehow worked their way to the surface and they're not actually, uh, they just haven't popped. Good morning, gardening friends. It's now Saturday morning. and. Uh, Let's see, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted by dead batteries? Uh, I had just finished uh, putting together actually both of these planters. Um, the one on the right is the one that I redid yesterday. The one on the left was the one that I found the uh, seeds near the surface but not germinated in any way shape or form so I decided to go ahead and turn the soil one more time in the one on the left and add more vermiculite because I was looking at it I'm going with all the vermiculite I put in on the right side the right the planter on the right uh, it didn't look the same it didn't have the same sort of speckly nature to it so I went ahead and added a little bit more vermiculite and looked at it again and added a little bit more vermiculite and kept going and ended up adding quite a bit to get it to kind of look the same. So maybe that was the problem on the left why it didn't germinate was because it just wasn't soft enough soil for it to actually germinate. So now they're both the same. I'm going to let it rest until tomorrow, kind of dry out a little bit more. When I water today, I'm not going to water those too. Uh, and then I'll put some seeds in there tomorrow, put some new labels, and we'll go from there. And since not much else has changed since yesterday's shoot, this is the Budget Gardener signing off and saying, May your thumb be green. <laughs>